The next pose we're going to do is reclining cobbler's pose. Though not necessary at all, this pose can be very relaxing when your legs are supported. So I'm showing you how to set yourself up. Place a blanket, blocks, or a cushion to each side of your mat. Now lying flat on your back, bring the soles of your feet together, your knees apart, and rest your arms at your sides. How do your knees feel? If you'd like a little bit more support, simply adjust your props to the size that's most comfortable for you. Now close your eyes and bring your attention to your belly. The goal of reclining cobbler's pose is to both undo tension in the abdomen and create a focal point for a meditation, a way to bring your mind into focus. Begin picking up the rhythm of your own breathing, allowing each breath out to let your belly relax and fall back into the body. Undoing tension from the belly is more difficult than you might expect. But it is really just letting go and your breath out will help you with that. This pose also helps to free tight muscles in the inner hips that can increase flexibility. Give yourself a couple of minutes or even longer to begin this gradual unraveling, adjusting your position, widening the hips and lengthening the spine if you wish. Though resting quietly, your mind stays focused and your breathing continues to promote a feeling of flow and release. The belly grows calm, deep, and wide. Allow your legs to fall completely into the supports provided by the blankets. allowing your body to settle into a completely effortless, easy, but conscious breath rhythm. Quiet mind, quiet belly, tremendous focus. Don't rush to come out of this pose, but when you're ready, using your hands, pull your knees together and to the chest. Move your blankets away and roll to your side, resting your head on your arm for a moment. And coming up to sit Arm across chest twist is a wonderful exercise for easing into the day in a gentle way. Lie on your back in constructive rest, knees bent, feet flat, putting a blanket under your head if one is available. 
Roll to your right, bringing your knees and feet to the floor and joining your palms. Pause here to feel the breath moving in and out of your lower back. This gentle movement begins to relax your back muscles and wake them up. Hold your left arm with your right hand as I'm demonstrating. I like to hold just above the elbow, but if that's not comfortable, adjust your grip until it feels right. And let your left arm relax. Breathing out, pull your arm, gently guiding the movement from the underarm. And when you breathe in, push the arm back toward the shoulder. Do that a couple of times. Breathing out, pull the arm, stretching from the underarm. And breathing in, push it back to the shoulder. On your next breath out, pull the arm and hold the stretch creating nice traction for your shoulder. You'll also feel a nice stretch on your left side and in your back ribs. Relax into that stretch. If you continue to feel the breath moving in and out of your lower back and back ribs, your muscles will relax allowing you to pull on the arm a little bit more and rotate your chest closer to the floor. This is a lovely spinal twist, waking the shoulders up, waking the back up, and you can make it a little more challenging by bringing your left leg back up to constructive rest position as it was when we started, knee up, foot flat, but don't give away the twist, and continue to breathe steadily. You may now feel the muscles all the way down to the waist stretching. Inhaling, bring your right leg up to the original constructive rest position, knee up, foot flat, but again, keep the twist. Your left hip does drop toward the floor, but you also continue to pull gently on the left arm so that as you now release your grip, you can stretch the arm up and out to the side bringing it slowly to the floor, feeling how wide and open the left side of your back body feels. Breathing in, roll to your left and bring your knees to the floor and right palm on left palm. Breathe into your back. Let the relaxing muscles give you a feeling of the back being very wide and long. Raising your right arm about a foot off the floor, hold it with your left hand and let your right arm relax. As we did on the first side, Exhale and pull the arm, guiding the movement from the underarm and the side ribs. Breathing in, push the arm back to the shoulder. Do that several times, oiling the joint, so to speak. And then when you're ready, gently pull the arm carrying the shoulder blade and collarbone along for the ride and hold that stretch. Again, move from the underarm to avoid straining the shoulder. This is such a great stretch for bringing freedom and ease to the upper back. 
And so many of us need that freedom. And you'll not only feel this stretching the muscles of your upper back ribs, you'll also feel the action roll you into a deeper twist, bringing your chest to the floor. The more you relax your back muscles, the bigger the stretch in your shoulder. Inhaling, bring your right knee up, putting your right foot back on the floor. Continue to rotate the spine and gently pull on your right arm, your shoulder blades and collarbones move. Now bring your left leg up, but keep the twist. The right hip becomes heavy, stretching the waist, stretching into the hips, and waking up the whole spine. This is a pose that can get deeper and deeper the longer you hold it. To come out of the pose, release your arm and breathing out, slowly stretch the arm up and out to the side, bringing it back to the floor and rest. Reclining leg stretch is practiced lying on your back. Lying on your back while working towards greater flexibility in your hips and legs lessens your chance of tweaking the lower back. So this is a perfect pose for those stiff morning muscles. Also, I suggest you use a strap at least in the beginning, to help you do the pose more easily. So have your strap nearby, and holding your left knee, breathe in, stretch your right leg up, and lengthen the back of your leg, keeping the foot active as you lower it to the floor. Do this slowly, and continue stretching the back of your leg, even when the heel comes to the floor. Now, gently push your left knee into your hands. You'll feel a response in your left hip. This is getting the blood flowing into the joint and strengthening the hip at the same time. Continue to keep your right leg active. Now, take your strap and loop it around the ball of your left foot, keeping your left knee slightly bent. If you don't have a strap, you can hold the back of your leg with your hands. And if you're quite flexible, you can hold your big toe with the index and middle finger of your left hand. But you need to be able to keep your right leg extended and your left shoulder relaxed. I encourage you to move at an honest pace. Now, slowly begin to straighten your left knee, just as much as you can. Again, keep the right leg active. Your goal is to balance the action between the right and left leg. Bending your left knee and then re-straightening it a couple of times may help you get more comfortable. But again, don't overdo this. Don't rush it. Just coax these muscles into moving slowly towards greater extension. 
This pose is more challenging than you might expect. A sedentary lifestyle can cause your leg and hip muscles, even your lower back, to become quite tight. Still, chances are you were once much more flexible than you are now. So with patient practice, you will be again, restoring what is naturally yours. Even holding this stretch for a minute or two, you may find yourself able to straighten your knee a little more. Certainly your breath may relax. And when you're ready, release and hug your knees to your chest. Pausing for a moment, to feel the sensations resonating from the stretch you just finished. You may even feel a little bit more open and light. Now hold your right knee. Breathing in, stretch the left leg up. Hold that position a moment. Feeling the width and length of your back leg. Now slowly lower that leg to the floor, keeping it active. Pause while the foot is still in the air to enhance the activity of the back leg, calf stretching all the way to the heel, even as you bring your heel down. Holding your knee, exhale and push your knee into your hands, holding it for a few seconds. Again, feel the muscles in your right hip engage. They're waking up. As you hold your right knee, continue to extend your left leg. The more your hamstrings and calves flow towards your heel, the more you're going to be able to press the left thigh into your mat. And this, in turn, will isolate the action of this pose to your hips. Now holding a strap or your toe, pause for a moment to make sure your left leg is still active. And then slowly, beginning with the breath in and moving with the breath out, straighten your right leg. Remember, your leg may not straighten completely today or for quite a while. This pose is much more about surrender than it is about effort and maintaining a steady, relaxed breath will help. There's no hurry. Patience and persistence are the key. Continue to focus on the work of the floor leg, even though the sensations in the right leg are probably stronger. And if you want to bend your right knee a little bit or loosen the grip on the belt, to make this pose feel steadier and more balanced, then that's what you do. And there is nothing much better you can do for your lower back than to become flexible in your hips and legs. So stay with this, make small adjustments. Bending and re-straightening your right knee when you need to and just savoring the stretch of waking up your muscles. Breathing in, bend both knees and gently hug them to your chest as you breathe out. And pause for a moment to savor the feeling. Lying on your back, pull your knees towards your chest to begin reclining belly twist. Holding your left knee, stretch your right leg into the air and with a good slow breath out, lower it to the floor, keeping it active the whole time you're in this pose. On your next breath in, roll to your right, bringing your knee on or near the floor, 
and stretch your left arm up. If this pulls your lower back, move your left hip over towards your knee more or put your knee on a block. On your next breath in, stretch your left arm out to the left, bringing it about halfway to the floor. And keep the arm active. This isn't just about position. Turn your head to gaze at your hand. And keeping your hand raised, exhale, pressing your left shoulder toward the mat. This will increase the work in your upper back muscles and really wring some of the tension out of your upper back. Keep your breath steady. Breathing in, roll onto your back and hug your knees in. Now hold your right knee and stretch your left leg up. With a good out breath, lower your leg to the floor, keeping it active the whole way and throughout the twist. Breathing in, roll to your left, bringing the right knee to the floor or to a block. And stretch your right arm up. Breathing in, reach out to the right. And breathing out, stretch the arm about halfway to the floor, turning your head to gaze at your hand. Feel your right shoulder blade pushing towards your hand to open your shoulders more. And without lowering your hand, exhale your right shoulder to the floor. And then you could do that again. Exhale and press the shoulder to the floor again. Don't hold your breath. Now breathing in, roll onto your back again. With a nice exhale, hug your knees to your chest. Begin this simple seated twist, upright in a cross leg position with your right ankle in front of your left. Elevate your hips on a folded blanket if that helps you to keep your spine straight. Stay seated in this position for a moment to make sure that your spine is straight and your breath is steady. Now with your left hand, hold your right knee, placing your right hand on the floor behind you. This creates a gentle spinal twist. Keep your breathing slow and easy, making space to breathe out. Begin to juice up the twist by exhaling and pressing down with both hands. You'll feel the muscles in your back respond Pull your right shoulder slightly back, turning your head to the right to deepen the twist more. And you may be able to reach behind your back to hold your left thigh, but that's fine if you can't do it. Simply put your right hand on the floor again. Now again, pay attention to your breathing. If you can't breathe steadily, back away from the twist a bit. And while you hold the twist, continue to relax your back muscles. I'll often move my spine slightly just to make sure I'm not stiffening. Inhale and release this side. 
and change your cross leg so the left ankle is in front of the right. And your right hand now holds your left knee. Place the left hand on the floor behind you. Remember the importance of breathing steadily. If you're not breathing well in a twist, your muscles are not happy either. So don't force. Work at your own pace. With an exhalation, press down through both hands to engage your muscles more, pulling your left shoulder back and rotating your head to the left. And again, you can reach behind your back to hold your right thigh if that's possible. But your pose is not necessarily better if you hold your thigh. Push your hand into the floor instead if this gives you a better feeling in your back. So steady breathing, fluid spine. Inhale, release the twist. Exhale, facing forward, resting your hands on your knees. Set up for this wonderful seated twist by sitting on your heels. Now shift your feet to the left, sitting on the floor, and resting your left foot on your right as I'm demonstrating. Hold your right knee with your left hand, and press the floor with your right hand behind you, sitting tall. Either continue to hold your knee or turn the back of your hand against your knee and slide your fingers under your leg. Press your hand against the knee as you pull your right shoulder back. And let your left hip grow heavy. Now inhale, expanding your chest. Exhale, turn your head to the left and gaze at your knee. Continue to press against the leg with your left arm. And as your back muscles relax, you may be able to pull your right shoulder back a little bit more as well. But continue to breathe steadily. Inhale as you release the twist and switch sides. Shift your feet to the right, sitting on the floor beside the feet. and hold your left knee with your right hand, left hand behind you. Sit up tall and roll the shoulders back. Either continue to hold your knee or slide your hand under the knee as you did on the first side. Keep your breathing slow and steady. Exhaling, press your hand against your knee and pull your left shoulder back. right hip heavy and now slowly turn your head to the right gazing at your knee let your breath guide you in this pose steady breathing helps you release tension along your spine and allows you to gradually deepen the twist but take your time twists or any other yoga pose should never be forced Inhale, release the twist, and sit on your heels. Lying on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor in constructive rest pose. Placing a blanket under your head if your neck feels tense or your shoulders are tight. And then rest your arms on the floor at your sides, closing your eyes. Direct your attention down into the belly and relax. 
allowing your breath to settle into a gentle rhythm in and out. Now slowly stretch your legs out and relax them. Continue to use your breathing to keep your mind focused during this short yoga rest. If the mind wanders, simply bring your attention back to the gentle rhythm of your body expanding with each breath in and relaxing with each breath out. Feel your hips sink. Your lower back relax. And your shoulders drop into the floor. Even your face relaxes, especially between the eyes. The body is heavy, but you feel light, filled with energy that has expanded and grown as you practiced. Keep that quality, relaxed body, alert mind as you roll slowly to your right, resting your head on your arm for a moment. And when you're ready, come up to sit in a cross leg position, joining your hands at your chest. Namaste. The ideal position for meditation is sitting upright with a straight spine. And ideally, you sit on the floor in a cross-leg position as I'm demonstrating. Notice how I've placed a folded blanket under my hips. If you can't sit on the floor and keep your spine straight, I suggest sitting in a chair your meditation will be just as deep. So spine straight, slide your hands up your thighs to bring your shoulders gently back. Keep your head upright and close your eyes, bringing your breath's rhythm into focus. This focus on the breath brings your mind to attention and calms it. Feel the cool sensation of your breath as it comes in through your nose and down the throat to the chest. And the easy, steady sensation of the breath out. Everyone's mind wanders. That's the purpose of a focal point. Let your thoughts float by unattended and focus instead on your breathing. Now bring your palms together at your chest and bow your head. Namaste.